special and awkward. Josh Whitfield. Right, so for Unit 7, planning and leading, you need to talk about M4 criteria, so you're going to explain the strengths and areas for improvement at your event. So your event was a squash tournament, what took place on the 9th of January. So first of all, Josh Whitfield, can you tell me about one of the strengths, what you thought? We had the correct equipment. So why, why is that a strength then? Because you need equipment to like, get the game started, like keep scores down on paper, pens and stuff. So what made you get the equipment, how did you get it, so how were you organised? Because we both, we, well, Josh got a folder to keep all the equipment in, and uh, we like, put towards stuff like pens and paper, so all the pens. Good, so what would happen if you didn't have the equipment? Right, so Josh not talk talks through one of your strengths? Uh, understanding of the game. So, good, why was that a strength? Because if I didn't have a good understanding of the game, we wouldn't have been able to play it because we wouldn't have been able to, uh, like, you know, uh, demonstrate the rules right and, you know, so people know what they're actually doing, where they can actually hit the ball and where they can't hit the ball could, and when there's a point. To go so, that everyone in your group who you rules or just you? What, what no, do you I'd think? I'd say that everybody in our group understood uh, the, the game pretty well. Good, all right. Josh, what, another strength? Uh, we communicated well. We need to communicate well so we like the game runs run smoothly, like so we can tell each other who won that game so we know like who's playing next. So can you tell me like types of non verbal communication you used? Uh, like hand gestures, like uh, what else? So how, how do people know if they're doing well or not? We had a deaf person. Yeah, so, how, so, if, so if, how do people know they're doing well? Like what? Thumbs up, thumbs up. And yeah, like, good. So what, what, what types of com communication do you use verbally then? Uh, like shouting, like uh, motivating people, like shouting down to them saying you, you can do it, you're doing good stuff. And like telling, like shouting, well, shouting over to like your teammates saying like he won him. Good, so then, so then Josh not with anything about that, so in terms of communication then, so he's saying, he's saying, he's saying that how, how he spoke to you about communication then, so what what did you do in terms of communication, what you thought made the event run smoothly? I'd say that uh, we all like, sport, like, everybody understood each other because we were all communicating, right, so we all knew which job to do, what, what we had to do, how we had to do it, and when we did need to communicate and when we did need to write it down, it were it were easier because everybody knew what they were doing rather than someone doing half score keeping half this, half that. Good. Right, so one year, can you give me a negative, so like an areas for improving what you've got down? I'd say to be more organised. So a bit more organised. So I've got that down on my sheet as well. So why why do you think you want organised? Because uh, we hadn't of, uh, we, we, we didn't spend enough time that we needed to on it and we hadn't have, like we hadn't picked the games right and I think that we should have uh, just like had, had a couple of more sessions and, I don't know spent a bit more time on it and that so that it run more smooth so like, so jo so Josh Whitfield Josh not was just said you weren't organized because you didn't plan enough so if, if you were to do it again how, how would you overcome that do you think uh, we'd make sure that we had all four courts because we only had two. So how, how would you do that yourself? We'd ring them up, ask them. Good, and so then you book them, so then yeah. what would you have to be more organised? Fixture sheets, because uh, uh, we didn't like, really understand how to work it, but it was a bit complicated. Good, so have you got another area for improvement? Uh, like, uh, correct fixture sheet. So yes, yeah, so you just told me you'd be more organised, you'd, you'd sort out a correct yeah. fixture sheet. And we didn't do any demonstrations either, yeah, yeah. which we should have done because then it would have been like easier for other people to... Because it, it was like, with, with us, we, all of us like, understood the game, we didn't know that some people didn't understand, uh, understand the game and what we should have done was demonstrate it first so everybody knew where to hit, where, how you can score a point and how you can't score a point so that the game would have run more smooth rather than arguing and stuff between people that are playing. Right, well done.